Okay, so I'm just here trying to enjoy a nice cup of joe on a nice Saturday. Um, obviously, you can tell that it is becoming fall. And uh, don't mind my grass here. But I wanted you to meet Mr. Piglet, who likes to come and do the rounds and eat his apples. So here is little Piglet chowing down on the apple windfall from my tree. Um, he's doing a great job of cleaning this up. You can see he's running around and the wood pile there. What are you doing, buddy? So, I honestly can say, I never thought I would like pigs as much as I like pigs. Um, you know, their their personalities are are just something else. Um, you know, he's super friendly. He comes when he's called. He also goes, as soon as he gets let out in the mornings, he goes from the chicken Avery to the duck Avery. And then he'll go to the pen that we currently keep Cujo in because we want to keep her close to her family. She does sleep with them at night and protect them. She's doing a wonderful job. Um, but during the day, we want to make sure that, you know, they have time to do what they need to do and that they also aren't bothered by her because she is still a puppy and we try to keep her away as long as she's unsupervised. So... Um, but he will go in there, he'll try to get her food, and then, of course, if all else fails, he will come back, um, to the house, hi buddy, to eat <laughs> apples, um, and he puts himself back, so thank goodness, because as you can remember, um, we did actually lose a dog, um, so having something that actually gets out and comes back, um, is quite amazing, because <laughs> I really didn't want to chase this little pig all around Goff's. Um, or have people, you know, upset because pigs can cause damage, rooting, um, eat things they're not supposed to, even if he is super cute. Now you can tell he is really grown since the last video. Um, it's all the food that he's been stealing. And as you can see, he's loving these apples. So due to him being a heritage pig, he does take longer to reach his size. So we probably won't send him to freezer camp until probably April or May, uh, depending on how they do. So he's got a long, long way to go, but we're really enjoying his personality while he is here. Now I know that probably sounds heartless and cruel to a lot of people. Um, like how could you love something and then also eat it? Um, well, honestly, when you go buy something at the superstore or the Sobeys, honestly, if, if you, take a moment and see how commercial pigs are raised, the life that they have before they get, you know, sent to butcher, um, you know, you may not ever want to eat pork again, especially when you find out, you know, they have the intelligence of a four-year-old child. Um, so just to put that into perspective, four-year-old children, you know, they can accomplish a lot. So, you know, these guys are, they're very aware and uh, to know that we're doing something so heartless is keeping them in this tiny little spot uh, until we feel that they're big enough to go to market um, is not exactly the life that you want anything to have. Now, raising your own meat, making sure it's happy, it's healthy, it has lots of room to run around and play, it's loved and cared for, that is a happy animal. And knowing that you're going to eat it, you know, you feel really good about your choices and what you have done to feed your family. And that this animal had a great life. Um, it flourished under your care. And, you know, yeah, hey, buddy. And it's just something super special. So it made the whole experience super exciting. Hi, buddy. Now, I, I'm not going to lie. It is going to be a little hard at the time when we go to take them. But... As you can see, he is tenacious with these apples. Um, but you know what? We just, we're not thinking about that now. All we're thinking about is making sure he's happy. He has enrichment in his life. He's loved, healthy, cared for, and sheltered. Um, so here's Piglet. So let's just see. See, he's discovered these apples underneath. 
And these are also another thing about why pigs are so great on the homestead or the farm, especially if you're going from scratch, is the rooting behavior. Now these don't root as much as other pig breeds do, but I mean, he is moving everything out of his way to get what he wants, which is that beautiful apple there from our tree. So because they love the apple so much, we are actually gonna increase the number of apple trees on our property just so that they can have this fun fall treat. So also keep in mind, if you are local to us and you buy pumpkins and you do not cut them, well, ideally you don't mark on them or use any chemicals on them, uh, we can actually take them here as a nice treat for our pigs and goats and chickens and birds. So uh, keep us in mind, it is fall, pumpkins are on sale. Um, if you'd like to donate a pumpkin to these guys, just let me know. Thanks for joining. And here is Piglet, the Cooney Cooney.